Southies, welcome back to the channel and if you're new, my name is Ceci and today I am doing a community lot speed build here in The Sims 4 and this community lot is, I kind of made it for my Bailey Goes to College Let's Play. Um, it is set in the Discovery University world of Brightchester on the lot that, I think it is a bar. Uh, when you first open up the game, I pretty much bulldozed it because when I opened it up and I saw it, I hated it. But it took me a while to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with this spot. And so in my last plays, you'll see a completely different build here. Um, just an older build that I made a long time ago until I kind of came up with this idea. And so in future let's plays, you'll see this build. But this is Kane's Bar. Um, and with this lot there is a bar a nightclub area and restaurant slash cafe so you can pretty much play this lot in those four different categories obviously that means you'll have to go up and toggle back and forth now I will say if you do not know with discovery university comes a new lot type called I want to say it's like university student hangout something like that um, it is meant to populate the bar with uh, university students. I did recognize that when I toggled the lot back to or into the restaurant to make sure I had all the requirements, that particular trait, lot trait, disappeared. So my guess is that you cannot play or you cannot utilize that lot trait when this is a restaurant. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're toggling back and forth. Now, if you play it as strictly a restaurant, the bartender in the bar will populate. So you can, I like to, to do that kind of restaurant bar combination because, um, even if it's separated or split up or meant to be two different places, there will be a bartender in the bar and Sims will go into the bar and then there'll be a restaurant side. So uh, if you like to play it like that, and then if you want to play it as a nightclub, you'll just have to toggle the little thing up the top and then a cafe, same. Um, but just note that if you play it as a cafe, no one's going to populate the bar or the nightclub. Hopefully that all made sense. But kind of my idea for this lot is that it has been here um, for a very long time and this bar has been here for a very long time and so not much has changed with it I, I would probably guess it's a family bar I think I said at the beginning I do call it Kane's bar and it's probably been like I said been here forever and the people who own it have taken really good care of it so it has all the original walls and fixtures and floors and there are a few changes as far as furniture goes like you see I'll, I'm going to be using the, I want to say it's, I want to say it's Cool Kitchen, the Cool Kitchen um, chairs, and now that I'm saying that, I think I am wrong. Um, I, I can't remember, but I want to say those are Cool Kitchen chairs, only because the swatches actually matched those Discovery University tables, um, or matched close enough uh, to where it didn't bother the life out of me that they were different. Um, that I went with those side of high top tables. Um, and then this little space is going to be where the ping pong table is. And then I end up putting a don't like the llama game in the main section. And then a jukebox from Strangerville. Uh, so this is not a limited pack build. I am coming out with a limited pack a speed build, a house build. Um, maybe not this week, maybe next week. I'm trying to do a speed build a week if I can. Um, but it's, I think it's mostly edited, so I might go ahead and put it out, um, this week. But, uh, don't, um, don't hold me to that. Um, now we're starting to work on the upstairs. I normally don't show bathrooms, but I decided to show this one. I don't know. Um, pretty simplistic. I'm using those Discovery University bathroom stalls. Um, it is like men and women's. I know it's 
kind of a big thing in The Sims to use the like family style bathrooms but I um, like I said it's it's not that big of a deal your sims can go in whichever one they want um, it's um, and so this portion upstairs is the nightclub portion so kind of how it works and this is sort of the same where I live there are a couple of bars that are set up like this where on the bottom you have a bar it's kind of a basic hangout bar um, and then upstairs or downstairs there is sort of a nightclub portion and that's what this is here so you'll access this particular portion of the build from the back of the bar you go up the steps and then you'll have this um, of course I had the DJ booth I thought about putting the karaoke machine in there too but I didn't but there's plenty of space to do that it's honestly just a big old hall with a DJ booth and then this little room here We'll have a bubble blower and then later on I put in a keg stand which you'll see in the screenshots and so I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the inspiration for a, the exterior of the bar um, I literally googled storefront bar and saw a lot of bars that kind of look like this where um, the build itself is an obviously older build and then the bottom they kind of updated the exterior to be kind of sleek and cool. But like I said, I would imagine this place has been here for a really long time and the changes that they've made to it over time have been slight, like most of it is original. And so as you can see, you might be wondering, didn't you already do this section? I did because at first I was actually going to put in a bowling alley that led that you could access through the bar and then I changed my mind because as much as I like playing or the idea of the bowling alley um, pack um, the bowling alley lanes are really big which obviously in real life they're really big and so I don't really play with it that much I do actually have a bowling alley build that I've never actually played with in any of my let's plays now that I think about it um, it is in generally in my in my save files it's in um, Oasis Springs I don't know what it is, is about Oasis Springs but it just feels like that is where you have a bowling alley <laughs> maybe it's because the whole vibe of that world feels very mid-century modern and bowling alleys feel very mid-century modern to me even these days where they're kind of sort of doing these more smaller types of um, bowling alleys. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but um, as you can see, I'm starting to decorate the inside of the bar area. And kind of my inspiration um, is for uh, as far as the decorations go and how I'm decorating comes from a restaurant, an American restaurant called Applebee's. Um, it's kind of just an American style restaurant where they have a bunch of different foods. But in older models, because a lot of them have been remodeled, they used to have like themes throughout the restaurant where one side of the wall would be sports and other side of the restaurant would be TV, movie memorabilia, and it'd be all over the walls. I don't have too many too much wall space because I have a lot of windows but I thought maybe this one wall where that jukebox is is all of the university stuff and that was kind of my thinking when I did that because I feel like this town or this build is really super established in the town like when people find out oh you went to Brightchester you went to Foxbury did you ever go to Kane's bar and like everyone goes to Kane's bar and so they're really just sort of a pillar in the community and now I am starting to work on the restaurant side and I didn't have any reference for the restaurant side I just sort of just sort of winged it really um, because at first I wanted to to be like a cafe just a modern looking cafe and then I thought well I have enough space to put a kitchen in here and so I decided to add that as well and there should I wanted it to definitely feel like a contrast between the bar 
and the restaurant as far as aesthetics, knowing it, that the, the restaurant is probably relatively new. Um, maybe this particular space in this lot has been multiple things and now in its new iteration is a restaurant or a cafe, depending on how you want to play it. Um, and so I wanted it to feel very modern. Um, again, I used some, a lot of uh, university as far as these wallpapers. I love those wallpapers. They come in all really great colors, I think. And then um, I was get to work. I had to use that. And then the um, dine out pack as well to make it a restaurant. So this is not a restricted build. I went kind of crazy. As I said before, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Sorry if I am. <laughs> I've done a couple of these today. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I wanted to feel colorful and clean was kind of my thinking in building this restaurant. I just wanted it to feel like this is where you go you and your study group, you go to study, and I feel like studying is a lot easier in a space that feels not so cluttered. Um, and so I did, I, I wanted a sense of, it's generally really quiet in here. Compared to the bar, which I imagine the bar is really loud, the cafe restaurant is usually very quiet. Um, I did put a bus station here because I'm thinking, oh, maybe at night they have um, live music playing over on this side. I think realistically the bus station would be on the bar side because <laughs> um, I've been to a lot of bars where we'll have this dude that's sitting with a guitar off in the corner and no one is paying attention to him but he's just in there playing you know 1990s classics <laughs> on his acoustic guitar but I thought um, there just wasn't enough room to do that so I just put it on this side and um, you can obviously pay someone to come and play or if you are playing with a musical sim they can busk there and make a little bit of money. Um, the artwork was kind of hard. I didn't really know what I wanted to put so I put this I want to say oh my gosh I can't remember where anything is. These photos either come from backyard or perfect patio. I'm usually pretty good at remembering where things are from. Like it's funny, I'll watch other people do speed builds and in the commentary, the you know, the builder will be talking about where stuff is from and they'll get confused and I'll look at the item that they're talking about. I was like, oh yeah, that's Stein Out, that's City Living. <laughs> you know, but for some reason, I don't know what it is, I just can't remember <laughs> where stuff is from. Um, now I'm like bugging out because I want to know where those chairs are from the bar and then where these photos are um, from. I have all of the packs only because I don't like using build by custom content so I don't restrict myself on the packs and I just I when they come out obviously I'll try to wait for sales and stuff and then I just go ahead and buy them because I want I don't want to feel bored with my builds so Sometimes you gotta have to kind of improvise, right? Um, but yeah, as you can see, very clean, very sort of fun and colorful, the restaurant side of this build. And I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm surprised that it, honestly, surprised at myself that it came together as quickly as it did. I usually have sort of a headache when it comes to building community lots because I feel like as far as inspiration goes, it's easier to find inspiration for houses um, than it is for, you know, commercial style builds. Um, I mean, obviously there's tons of pictures of commercial style builds, but I don't know. I find inspiration just doesn't come as easy with these. And I've said it before, and I know some people might disagree, I don't consider myself a builder. And so for me, looking at reference photos, looking for inspiration to build the building, it, it'll take me a while. 
decorating it not so much I feel like I have kind of an eye for decorating um, my builds and I am going to be doing kind of how I decorate let's build um, hopefully I'll put it out if not next week sometime in the month of April where I'm literally just gonna sit down and show you how I decorate a living room it'll most likely be an apartment that way it won't take up so much time and I'll kind of show you how I decorate based off of a reference photo and then sort of freestyle how I decorate and hopefully it will be helpful to people that are struggling with how to decorate their builds not so much build builds because I struggle with that look elsewhere for tutorials on that but maybe how to just decorate um, sort of go through the process of why I'm using certain things and maybe how to make a photo that you see on Pinterest and how to bring that out into The Sims because it can be kind of hard to translate um, without custom content. It can be kind of hard to translate a photo of a living room into a living room that you're designing. So hopefully that will be helpful. I am kind of putting on finishing touches. I decided um, there's not really like a uh, space for employees to go. So this little corner <laughs> when you're on your break, you can just sit here and talk to the cook. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I am almost near the end. I think maybe about a minute out to the end. If you enjoyed this build, please let me know by giving me a happy little thumbs up by pressing that like button and comment down below. What do you think about this build? How do you play lots? Um, do you like to have them strictly what the lot is? Do you like to, like I said, kind of make a multi-purpose and then toggle back and forth for your gameplay? Um, I'd be interested to see how you, you guys play it. And if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me, please, oh please, oh please subscribe. I try to post every week. I do Let's Plays, Speed Builds, Apartment Renovations, and all of that fun stuff. And I'd love to have you be a part of the Southie family. Again, my name is Cece, and I promise never to break your game. Bye.